Welcome, people. This is Spiritual Warrior Magistry, Royalty, Power, and Success in Christ Jesus. Coming to you with the part two of identifying false prophets in your congregations or out in the world uh, within ministries. Um, I'm going to name a few things that I left out on the other video. Um, but one of the one of the descriptions of identifying false prophets is that they push entertainment towards the people towards the flock towards the sheep and it's not it's not um you know a bad thing to have godly humor um in you know in different areas um within the body is good to have humor in the church but when it becomes a church full of entertainment a full of worldly entertainment full of worldly attire um just uh imitating the world you know making the church into a concert and that's not what the church is about people and it's not to be legalistic we're not saying that worshiping is wrong worshiping is not wrong in the church but there are certain churches where the 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 false prophets you know these teachers have compromised have compromised the word of god have compromised the holy spirit have compromised uh their positions become workers of satan and just literally they're not edifying the church anymore they're entertaining it and they're mocking it as well you know a huge huge red flag people if the amount of entertainment is overwhelming um, over the word of god over the teaching and edifying of the word uh, of god then it's a huge huge red flag i would say run away rebuke that false pa pastor and, and false prophet and get away as soon as you can be careful you know i'm not saying go to a legalistic church either i'm just saying just have the sermon you know because um when you go to the church you know it's it's a hospital and we 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 go to the church for healing we go to the church for edifying to get to get more into depth with our brothers and brethren towards the lord jesus christ and to build up to build each other up and when it just becomes entertainment nobody is getting built up we must be careful people when it's just full of you know just excitement and everything and then when it gets to the word of god you know things become uncomfortable you see just have discernment people another thing um to know and to identify false prophets or false teachers is they shake hands with global heretics you know i see this often and i have seen this often in the past where a lot of great evangelists a lot of great leaders and prophets of god have shaked the hands with popes with heretics with leaders of mystery babylon and a lot of people are not going to talk about these things or not because they're afraid they're afraid to get murdered believe it or not they're afraid of the devil um they're afraid to combat the devil they're afraid more of the devil than they are of the lord jesus christ shaking hands with heretics shaking hands with these popes um these uh phony leaders these demonic agents come on people you know the pope um the pope is not uh it is not in any way a representation or a servant of christ here on earth you must be deceived and we have people and congregations 
pastors, prophets, shaking hands with popes. Come on, people. Shaking hands with heretics and the enemy teaching. Shaking the hands with the leader of Babylon, with Mystery Babylon, and leading people astray. Like, you can just tell, like, the compromise, the compromise of authority. Like, if you were a real Christian or a believer, you would not even shake hands or think twice in meeting up with these individuals. Because they're top, top leaders in Satan's demonic religious kingdom. Another people, um, another thing that I left out um, from the from the first video that was really, really important, people. False prophets and false teachers are filled with plenty of gifts hear me out but they lack the fruit they bear no fruit people and a lot of people notice these things a lot of people notice the fruit that they bear the character that they bear now a lot of people may hide these um may hide their unfruitfulness through the gifts Masking their own fruitfulness. This is why people must have discernment at high levels nowadays. Because we can have these false prophets, these false teachers deceiving you guys because they have gifts. Because deceiving you guys through motivation speaking. Deceiving you guys by casting um, out demons. Or doing uh, the, all these types of uh, false miracles or motivation speaking, um, just soothing words, etc., etc., etc. Plenty of gifts out there. And the false prophet, the false teacher knows how to abuse these things, knows how to mask his unfruitfulness in the body of Christ with these gifts. When, when we sit there, we absorb their words, absorb the words, not knowing their double life. Not knowing their unfruitfulness. Now, I'm not saying that all these prophets with gifts or all these teachers with gifts have no fruit. No, there's plenty that bear good fruit. But people know that the devil has creeped in within the church of God. And this is how people are unaware and can be led astray because of the gifts that they bear. Because God does not take away the gifts. The gifts are free. He would never take away is written in his word. The gifts are free and he would never take it away. But what he will not do is grant the fruit when people abuse the gifts that he will never do and this is how people get deceived people this is how people get deceived thinking that they're following a man of god when they truly aren't because of the gifts people are in love with the gifts instead of the gift giver people are in love with the gifts instead of the fruit of the person instead of the character of the person Come on, people. People need to wake up. This is, this is wisdom. Wisdom of the Holy Spirit. Hearken to His words, people. Or else you will be deceived. Another thing, people. They are more religious than spiritual. Yes, false prophets, false teachers are more religious than spiritual. They could be filled with religious garments, religious teachings, false doctrines, contrary to the word of God, um, being religious for one day and then living however they want other days, not caring about the flock, not caring about any souls. It's just an act towards them. You will see, that you will see this by the way they treat people, 
by the way they treat their congregation, by the way they will look at the congregation. Come on, people. We must, we must discern, 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 and pray for discernment, especially in these last days. Another thing, people. Um, getting into the spirit in the church is not a bad thing, but we must know the difference between hyping people through motivation um, and hyping or being in the spirit with joy, with supernatural joy. You know, there's a difference because we have false prophets, we have these false teachers. Hyping people through motivation speaking, tickling, tickling their, their fleshly desires through soothing words that appeal to their flesh and not their spirit. Remember, know the difference. Instead of giving them supernatural joy through the word, through the wisdom of God, through the worship of God, see, it's different. Also, people, I'm going to keep on going. Another thing. They believe that they are the only ones to have authority within the congregation or within the body of Christ. I have noticed these things and I bet you have noticed these things. They have. Look, it's so easily to disregard the Holy Spirit when you are in a position of authority and power. And a lot of false prophets, a lot of these false pastors and teachers believe that they only have authority in Christ in the congregation when that is not the case. They're so puffed up in their mind, in their own wisdom, in their own uh, little box because they're upon an altar. That doesn't mean anything. It is, isn't it written, people? All believers, all believers in Christ Jesus shall heal the sick, shall lift people up out of the dead, shall cast out demons. You have that authority. You have that power, but you lack the faith. You lack um, the, 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 the revelation of scripture telling you that you can do that as well. And then they put these false prophets, these false teachers on a pedestal. Thinking that they are the only ones who can do these things. And these false prophets and these false teachers thinking that they are the only ones that they can do those things. Man, the, the stuff that comes out of false prophets and false teachers nowadays, man. Wow, it, 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 is, it is so absurd and so um, blasphemous. And that... Whatever comes out of their mouths nowadays. And so many false teachings, people. This is why people get into your word. Get into your word. Get into a relationship with God first before anything, people. And with the Holy Spirit. And He will show you everything. He will show you many, many, many things. Also, people, not only that, but... They lack, they lack, um, they lack being teachable. A lot of these false prophets and false teachers, they think that they know everything. They think that they know all the mysteries of God. They think that they know all the revelation of God. They're not willing to hear your perspective on things. Even if your perspective is right, they will never consider it because they have stubborn hearts. They think that because they're upon an altar, they are the only ones that know the scripture. False. False. And that they are the only ones that have authority. False. That's not what the Bible teaches. I clearly mentioned that on scripture. Come on, people. Pay attention. Be aware. Uh, another thing, people. They mock... You know, I mentioned something about deliverance, about fake deliverance on the other video. And they mock the Holy Spirit in these fake deliverances, interviewing demons and 
enacting and bringing the Kudalani spirit as an imitation of the Holy Spirit to cause extreme chaos and abnormality within the person. Yes, it's natural for a demon to manifest um, within an individual uh, where people who do deliverance cast them out is natural for them to manifest but have you noticed in a lot of prosperity preachers and a lot of fake the deliverance ministers they they imitate the kudalani spirit and they mix the word of god I'm telling you witches and warlocks and yogi masters nothing but demonic agents they're they're literally in face-to-face -face contact with the person doing the deliverance to these false prophets these false deliverance people these false teachers and then they're moving they're moving their body with the other person and then the they're they're moving the same thing it's like it's like the false prophet is doing a movement in his body as if He's moving the other person that he's doing deliverance to. And you see this in, 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 in the yogi um, world. You see these in the, in the, in the yogi kudalani spirit um, uh, actions or um, revelation of that spirit does. Demonic, demonic, moving like a snake. Uh, just, just literally, you know the action of what I'm talking about, people. literally trying to move their the the person that's being delivered to with their own body wow so so demonic so deceiving people if you have eyes to to see you will see what i'm talking about and you can search up the kudalani spirit you, you can show how these things move and you can see how people who um who um who open their chakras whatever demonic uh these demonic things how they open up to so much demonic activity and then they let their kudalani spirit enter in within these yoga practices you can see you can see the relationship between that and fake deliverances and the way false prophets use that spirit to touch people and to to literally put more demons inside them instead of casting it out the mockery of the holy spirit that's crazy within the church definitely definitely crazy people that's a huge huge red flag people um another thing people they live a double life meaning that a lot of false prophets a lot of false pastors pastors they don't really care about god they don't have a heart for him god is nowhere in their thoughts you know they can come whatever dressed up whatever they want they could preach preach to you a couple of scriptures but that's it they live a they live and practice sin on a daily basis i'm not saying i'm not saying that one cannot um sin by mistake of course we're not we're not perfect of course we're not perfect we're not saying that we're not saying disregard a pastor or a, a, a prophet just because they sin once or anything like that no because the same applies to us but they're all false prophets and false pastors that just live constantly for the flesh they're more fleshly and carnally minded than they are spiritually minded and then they pretend to be all spiritual in the pulpit when they really aren't it's crazy people um what else i believe um i come to the to the conclusion of everything people um i'm pretty sure that there's more um out there but i believe i've said plenty of this part two there might uh be a part three but people just be aware I hope this video edifies, gives you guys wisdom, wisdom of the Holy Spirit, not my wisdom, but the Holy Spirit's wisdom. He teaches 
awe in everything. He teaches us the word of God. He touch, He teaches us discernment. He gives us discernment. He teaches us who God is, the Lord Jesus Christ. So people, be blessed by this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Be blessed, you guys.